Maybe there's a gold coin in there. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows, yeah. man? It came from right here. Oh, gosh. It was a scratchy 80 something. And then now it's looking like 40s. So we got a dog tag. It looks like a. They're going to be a legit dog tag. And it's a little bitty one, but it's a gold one. Yeah, 14K stamped. All right. At the lake? Oh, didn't know that was on his yeah. finger legs. Well, good morning, everyone. Back on the road today, headed down to central Louisiana. I'm going to meet up with my friend Bayou Diggs. Uh, I haven't hunted with him in well over a month, and he invited me down. We're going to be searching a lake that they had drained to see if there's any rings out there. And then we're going to go hit some fields for some relics, Civil War relics. And then we're also going to have a, he told me we have a plantation, a new permission. So we're going to go do that. So I'm looking to get hopefully some jewelry, some old silver rings, I mean old silver coins and some uh, Civil War relics, a little bit of variety of everything that we can get down here. Uh, I've got a, a full day tomorrow and a half a day today. So hopefully we're going to get on some hot spots and find some good stuff. I still got about two hours to drive, so once I get there and get suited up, I'll turn the camera on, we'll get swinging, we'll find something, we'll show it to you. So until then, just sit back, relax, enjoy the show. Well, we moved on to a new location, and we're in the heart of the old downtown, uh, uh, the historic section of this town. Check out what we're fixing to detect. Yeah, nice little little home here. We have the front yard, and all over here on the side yard. So hopefully. We're gonna get into some good stuff here. So let's get at it and let's see. I'm gonna be using my Equinox here. And uh, it's going crazy right now because I'm by this electric pole. But yeah, we're gonna be on park one. We're gonna be just on the normal stuff, recovery. I'm gonna just change my recovery speed down to five. We go a little bit deeper. And, uh, and uh, I'm gonna leave my sensitivity at 20 and park one multiple frequency and we're good to go. Let's get at it. Anyway, we're started swinging again, and I just got a 11, 12 a signal and popped this up, and I got me an old nickel. I don't know what it is yet. Let's see it together. All right, there she is. Gonna be a buffalo nickel. Got an old buffalo. All right, there's something kind of old in here. Yep, I'll clean it up later on. We're losing sunlight today, so I'm gonna keep swinging. Well, I'm out here by myself today. Bayou's little boy that's been in the hospital for the last couple of weeks has started running fever, so he couldn't make it out here. So I came back out to the what we call the circus ground. I'll put the video of it right here, and you can watch that where I found that U.S. plate. We found tons of barbers, seated, uh, V nickels, buffalo nickels, uh, bullets. You name it, we found so much here and uh, still finding stuff. And I uh, came back over here in this one spot where we had found some barbers and seated. And low enough, I found another silver here on my first target out for the day. So we've been over this thing at least three or four times. And I got my big coil on going deeper and I uh, see the edge of it. So I don't know what it is yet. Let's look at it together. There it is right there. Just popped it out. I hope it's seated, but it could be Barber. Let's see, what do y'all think it is? Take a guess, seated or Barber? Both of them have come out of here. Ah, oh, it's gonna be Barber. It's gonna be a Barber. Let me get that plucked off. 
gonna be a barber. It's gonna be a 1896 is that what that is 1896 barber dime that's a good way to start the day right there it's amazing how you can come back over to a spot hunt it and still find stuff well my barber dime came out right underneath this plug i flipped it right on top and i got another 20 21 19 to 22 signal jumping all around dug up a brick i dug up this big piece of iron dug up this nail dug up this little piece of uh well there's another little piece of metal here i don't know where it went to but it's uh somewhere in the mucks but but still uh cleared all that out still listening getting a, getting a high tone and i just saw the edge of it right here it's on it's on edge check that out guys can y'all see that right on edge it's gonna be an indian head penny i can see the one cent check that out 19 1890 1890 Indian head penny right beside that 1896 barber diamond how did we miss that by you we've been through this a hundred times but it just goes to show you hit a different direction a lot of rain the ground's very moist so you get a good signal and there you go 1890 Indian head penny I'll take them all day long Let's get a good start. Let's see what else we can get. We've got a lot of ground to cover. Got a plantation I'm going to do after lunch. Well, I'm way back over here in the back of the places where we haven't hunted very much. And so I'm just kind of focusing back there because we've hit the front pretty hard. And we found a lot of Civil War bullets on this site. And that Civil War U.S. mini plate, that rare mini plate that I found. And I got my first, got a 16. Got my first pistol shot, Civil War period. So that's nice so hopefully uh, we've dug a lot of bullets on this side too most of the things that we dug were on the other side this is about uh i would say about five or six football fields i'm digging on it's very big and uh but there's a little pistol shot right there i don't know what caliber that is maybe you guys can tell me that it's not very big but it is civil war period so let's keep looking for those bullets seated tokens and whatever else we can find out here let's keep going well, I moved on to a new location. Uh, Bayou Digs uh, came out for a little while to uh, dig with me. So we come on over down to this plantation house. That behind me is where the plantation house used to sit. It's tore down many years ago and this house is there. But if you look around the property, you can just see these huge old live oak trees. I mean, they are so big. And this one right here is on the National Historic Register. It's even this guy has a name. I counted off while ago. I'll show you the video where it's 22 steps for me to get around that. That's about 60 feet. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. I'm gonna go over here set my camera up and I'm going to show you how big this tree is so hang on just a second let me get my camera on this little bench we're right beside the bayou there's the bayou biff all right let's put the camera right there look how big that is That is a big tree. I can't get over how big this is. The only trees I've ever seen bigger than this is in England, and they were 1,500 year old oaks. That's, that may be 500 years old. I don't know. That is so huge. So huge. And there I go all around the property. So, time to stop admiring, and let's get to swinging. I was getting a 3031 and dug this up. Some type of strap, brass strap with decorative design on it. Check that out. Let me clean that up and see if we can get a better shot of that. I don't know what that is. It's got two Florida Delis on it. Florida Lees and fancy. Let me get back here, you might see a little better.
Yeah, I'm gonna keep that. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna keep it and try to find out what this is. All right, let's keep on going. Jack, come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. Say hello to the camera. Come here. Come here. Where'd you go? There you go. You being camera shy. You being camera shy. Hmm? Yeah, you being camera shy. Easy you are. Well, Jack, I always have a way of attracting dogs. Say goodbye, Jack. Well, I met the owner of the house of this plantation site, and she gave me an old picture. And I'll put that picture up right now. And you can see uh, this uh, tree to my left right there. And right, right out there would have been the front yard. And I'm out in the front yard right now. And uh, came out here, thought I would search right in this area first. And uh, I've got a 15 to an 18 and just popped it up. And it looks some type of rosette. It's lead with silver on top, I believe. And it's a decorative type of rosette. I don't know. It's got all types of design on it. I don't know what that could have been. But it was tacoed over. And it broke before I got it out of the ground. But that's kind of a neat find, isn't it? Silver over lead. I think it's silver. But anyway, mosquitoes are horrible. So let's get a picture and let's keep going before they suck all my blood out of me. I've got a fired bullet here. I haven't been showing you guys any of these, but got another fired bullet there. That's that little pistol bullet. I don't know if that's a Williams cleaner or not. Three ringer. And looks like an infield. All these out of here. And I uh, haven't been showing all. Once you once you see one bullet, you kind of see all the bullets, but I'll show one that's fired or something like that. Oh, I'm so tired. It's so hot down here and the humidity and the mosquitoes are horrible. So let's keep swinging, see what we can get. Oh man, finally got a good coin. I'm right in the front yard in the middle of the house where the old man, uh, plantation used to be. And I was getting an 18 to a 21, jumping all around. And I guess it's about uh, six, seven inches deep. I changed my settings on my Equinox. I put my recovery speed to four, which means you gotta swing slower and it goes a little bit deeper. And by doing that, it knocked out some interference. There's a dog wire around the yard with a lot of interference, but it, it dropped that interference. And I began to pick up a little bit more sounds and got an Indian head penny. And just popped it up. 18. I think it's going to be 1899. Just did make the 1800s. It's very good shape. Green. I love them when they're green. $18.99. I'll take that. I'll set it right up there. By you just brought up uh, this. It looks like a pocket watch, but I don't think it is. It's got uh, some big stuff on the back, some iron, but it's got a star on it. At least that week we're calling the five point star. And uh, he's fixing to have to say goodbye and take his son home. So y'all say goodbye to buy you. Day. And uh, see if I can't stick around and find me a silver or two. Oh, yeah. They're here somewhere. So, yeah, they're. If I got an Indian. There's got to be a silver out here. That's it. All right. Appreciate you bringing me down by you. Well. Till you next time, man. So, we'll see you later. Well, let's get a 2930. And uh, thought it's going to just be another piece of trash. That's why I haven't been live digging. Just yards full of trash. But uh, I can see a edge of a coin or something here in the uh, the plug right there. Let's see if we can pull that out. Let me get you set up here. Let me get you guys where y'all can see it when I'm doing it. Oh, look at the beautiful green coin. Check that out. Wow. That is going to be awesome. What's that going to be? It's going to be a token. It's going to be a token of some sort. 
Oh, look at the imprint. That is going to be tails you lose, heads you win. Cost cores. It's something. It's a little boy. It's a little boy sitting on a pot. Must be a, a merchandise token for some bathroom or something. Trying to see what Kim trying to read that. Cascarettes. Always with Cascarettes. That's an old token. Very old token. Look at how green it is. That's beautiful. Let's get some pictures and keep on going. Could be more out here. Well, I'm back over here in the circus grounds where I found that uh, U.S. buckle. And uh, we know that there was a the bayou's just right over here about 100 yards. So we know that the troops came through here in camp because we have found so many bullets out here, that, that U.S. plate. And I found something else that's proof that they camped right here. Check this out. It is a tent uh, tensioner. Check that out, ringing up like a 23. And uh, that goes on the, the guide wires that go down and put the tent strings and tightens them back up. If I can find a picture of this, how it works, I'll show it to you. But that's a good find. All right, there's still stuff out here, so let's keep on rolling. Again, the 17, 18, about eight inches deep. Every time it's going to be a three ringer. I haven't showed you all these that I've dug. I've dug probably about four or so, but I thought I haven't been digging too much of everything. That's not too far away from that tent tensioner. All right, made it back last night from central Louisiana, spending the weekend with Bayou Digs. We went out and did that uh, dry lake that they were draining and also some plantations and some different houses. Had a really good weekend. Didn't find all the silver that I wanted to find, but I did find a silver and uh, some other relics. And uh, But it was a good hunt. It was very hot though, very humid. I started cramping up. I just had to quit on Sunday afternoon. It just got too hot for this old man. So I got everything laid out. Let me turn you around. Let me show you what I found on this trip. And boy, did I dig the trash. All that trash out of the lake out of the old plantation sites a solid brass ring well that rang up like a silver dollar i thought i had one and uh old buckles rusted up bottle caps just tons and tons of of stuff that uh, you dig out of old lake beds and old uh plantation sites old houses stuff like that anyway that's all the trash and here's all my treasure let me start out right here with I dug up five quarters. We got uh, 11 dimes. We got five nickels and five, 10, 15 pennies. We ended up with uh, eight wheat pennies. Uh, I didn't look at all the dates. I know the oldest one that I, that I read on that green one on the bottom left there is like 1916. And uh, this other green one on the top right, second to the left, is going to be an old one as well. But I dug this really nice brass strap. It's got two floor de lees on it. It's got fancy design through here. It's got a hook here and some type of thing here. If you know what that is, let me know what that is. Uh, that is a very beautiful design of solid brass strap. I don't know what it's for, but it's got some type of connection here and some type of bent over part right here. I dug some type of maybe a top of a drawer pull, something like that two really cool buttons i'm not sure what this one is it may be like an anchor and then this one has like a rose with stars all around it that's really cool i don't know what i've got to clean this one up a little bit better and see what that one is i got two tokens this one's pretty slick i don't know if there's anything on that but this one's really neat brass tokens usually date somewhere late 1800s 1890s i think or before 1890 uh, aluminum tokens started coming out in 1890s but this is a cassa cot tot or something like that it's a little boy sitting on his toilet i guess it's kind of some type of uh advertising for your constipated or something i don't know i have to look that one up later on and see what that's all about 
I did get this beautiful silver plated uh, rosette. It's lead on the back and uh, you can still see the silver on the top. Some type of real decorative rosette. That's a really cool find. I uh, went back out to the circus ground where I found that uh, U.S. box pla uh, uh, belt mini pe uh, plate and I ended up finding this so we know that the, tro the troops camped there because this is a uh, a tent uh, slip uh, to tighten up the the uh, strings on the tents and also found a Texas and Pacific bell seal even has the numbers here on the back B178 I put that in my railroad memorabilia case now at the lake I did get this locket here I haven't opened it yet to see if there's anything in it and I did get let me cover up this uh, social security number I did contact Austin uh, Ballot is his name, Junior. I did contact him through Messenger. He hasn't contacted me yet. And this is his military tags. He served in the Army. And so hopefully he'll call me back and I can get that returned to him as well. I dug a lot of bullets, some uh, at the plantation site, some at the circus grounds where I found this. And uh, these are all the three ringers. And then here's some fired bullets here. Then I got an infield, some type of cleaner bullet, and then one pistol shot. Three ringer pistol shot, really cool. And the best finds of the trip were this 19, 1899 Indian head penny, or 1890 Indian head penny, and then this 1899 Indian head penny, and then this 1896 Mercury, I mean a Barber dime. Those are going to be my best things, but I like these relics too. You can't beat relics and uh, all the different stuff. Kind of a great variety of finds on this trip. Things that I like to see. So there's all the trash and there's all the treasure. And like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can go down and dig out of old plantations and dry lake beds. The greatest treasure, my friends, is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching and keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless.